Love Yours, an experimental podcast. Welcome back to another episode of Love Yours. I'm your host Charlotte Tahira and this is season three, episode nine. OMG, this is the penultimate episode. I cannot believe how quick we've got through this book. I'm going to miss it. Not that I can never go back to it, but I've really enjoyed this book. So if you're wondering what book is she talking about, for this season, we have been fully immersed in Chidira Egere's What a Time to Be Alone, The Slum Flower's Guide to Why You're Already Enough. And it's all about self-love. It's all about relationships. It's all about how you handle your interactions with everyone in your life to make sure you're always coming from a place of kindness love and hopefully you're feeling more happy and positive and hopeful we'll see (laughs) the conclusions next episode so last episode we was talking about love and pride and i've carried on reading and the next few pages get really interesting i can link this next page to one of my key core shakers chadira says people who give an underwhelming reaction to things no matter how hard or how much you've done for them are very unhappy people now i've talked about how much of a ride or die i am but i don't even think i've explained to what extent i'll give you an example one of my core shakers favorite artists is wretch 32 so i wanted to surprise them with tickets to see his concert unfortunately all the london shows have sold out now this specific core shaker had never been to amsterdam and as someone who socially smokes and has edibles really wanted to go at this point i had been to amsterdam already three times and if you've ever been to amsterdam you will know that one trip is plenty two is perfectly plenty like you do not need to go to amsterdam more than two times there are so many other places in the world to go to and see so the wretch stage concert sold out and i see that there's tickets available in amsterdam and i'm like we could literally kill two birds with a stone here you could get to go see one of your favorite artists and you could also get to go to one of the countries that you've never been now i can't tell this whole story without baiting up who this core shaker was but basically i should not have been traveling to amsterdam for my health it made absolutely no sense but did that stop me did i care so initially what i did was for i want to say for valentine's day because i know it was after christmas i can't remember which part i made first oh yeah so for valentine's day imagine i've gone off and planned this whole thing for my core shaker i let them know that we are going to amsterdam i did it in such a cute way as well i printed off like the flight itinerary put it in a little tiny jewelry box put that jewelry box in a bigger box in a bigger box in a bigger box in a bigger box to by the time they got the gift there was no you could not tell that it was going to be a piece of paper at the end of it and considering i had paid for the flights and accommodation And this was pre-COVID, so you didn't have to worry about all the other extra stuff. I was just really disappointed. It was kind of like they opened all the boxes and they realised it was a bit of a game. And then they got to the final box and they opened this piece of paper and they're like, oh, so are we going going to Amsterdam? Like, that's literally the reaction I got. I could not believe it. It was so dry that I remember even turning to them and being like, is that your reaction? So that was for Valentine's Day. We weren't going until a few months later. And then our anniversary was coming up. And so the plan was for the anniversary gift to be the top up to the trip, which was the concert ticket. Now, let's just put some things in perspective. I do not do things by halves and I do not give to receive. I do not like when I plan this trip, as much as it costs me between flights, accommodation, concert tickets, and then some spending money. I already knew that it was a ridiculous amount to spend but in my head I and I actually talked about this really recently with with one of my close girls because I almost bought my recent casual some airpods and she was like what the hell is wrong with you who buys airpods on a casual one and I'm like well they really needed them and also it would help me for when I'm talking to them on the phone because they always having to put the phone on speaker because the airpods don't work and like to me money comes and goes I don't know if this comes from me being homeless this mentality that if my bills are paid and I have a roof over my head and food everything else is disposable income 
And yes, you could blow a grand one month, but next month you could only spend 50 pounds. Do you know what I mean? Like I just, I've always had this mentality since I got older and it served me well because all the people I know who chase and hold on to money, like their life depends on it, like it's their heartbeat, normally doesn't have money. Whereas I take a much more casual approach about it. And even season two of Black Girl Finance, it's teaching me that, you know, you have to talk to your money. You have to tell your money where it's going. There's no point trying to just hold on to it and and hope it doesn't disappear. Anyways, I'm waffling now. Back to the story. So they open the concert tickets and they realise that not only are we going to Amsterdam for the weekend, but we also are going to see their favourite artist in concert, which I forgot to mention they'd never seen in concert up until this point which for me was mind-blowing, especially someone who works, you know, in, in the entertainment industry. But their reaction, to me, this is like the dream present. Not only are you getting a holiday, but you're getting to see your favourite artist. And their reaction was trash. It was like a slight smirk. And then even when we was there on the trip, I felt very disappointed. I remember the first day they spent ages walking around looking for a charger because their phone was dying. And it was like who cares you're in amsterdam why do you need your phone like as long as we know where the concert is it's not exactly like you've got to you know use google maps like it was just all really sad but seeing Shadira say that they're unhappy people when they're underwhelmed it makes so much sense because that core shaker even till this day i feel like is very unhappy and she even goes on to stress that some people enjoy watching you fight for their validation it's almost like they need to feel desired wanted fought for i mean it shows a lot about their self-esteem but they enjoy it which is sad because when you get to that point of being with a core shaker you just want to have some happiness you just want to have some peace you don't want to be fighting you don't want to feel underwhelmed and she stresses that if a person in your life does this to you stop doing things for them and i mean i definitely have that's why that cause shake is no longer in my life and i do absolutely nothing for them these days but what about when that relationship is a family member i have a family member like that where i feel like it doesn't matter what i do or what i say it will never really make them happy it will never really be enough because of how unhappy they are and it's hard it's hard when it's someone who's been in your life for such a long time who you feel so dedicated to or loyal to to just stop but for your own sanity you have to because the effort we put in to them feel underwhelmed or unappreciated like what was the point and i think this one burns even more because i try so hard to show everyone how grateful i am even if it's a stranger just holding the door open or a sales assistant telling me where something is i'm all about my thank yous it's something i'm really trying to instill in my kids because they're always like i want i want and i'm like please thank you I don't know if it's from coming from this working class background where I have so much respect for what society considers as the little people, but like I treat everyone the same. Small gesture, big gesture. If it's really touched my heart, if I can tell you've been considered and thoughtful, you're gonna know I appreciate it. You're gonna know I love it. You're gonna know. I wish I could bottle my reaction and give it to other people to share for their own reactions just so their people who love them don't feel so disappointed and don't feel like it was a complete waste of their time all the efforts they put in to try and surprise them or treat them or create something for them and it hurts it hurts when you have spent days hours weeks months sometimes years planning something for someone and them just not seeming very happy about it but again it comes back to people can only treat you how they feel about themselves and Shadira stresses that explaining why you feel hurt is not always worth it she says no matter how good your intentions are never assume the person on the other end understands them I've definitely learned that the hard way I don't think I do anything in my life without a good intention behind it but obviously the other person doesn't always understand that and that's okay and it may hurt my feelings but i have to accept that not everyone is going to understand me and being underappreciated it does it does burn but most people most of the time have difficulty understanding expressing feelings because they don't know how to process them so i guess it's about you always being grateful 
and you always shown appreciation for the little things to the enormous things that a stranger does to a parent does to an intimate partner does and I guess the other side to this is accepting that not everyone will be grateful for you and so be careful how much time energy effort finance mental capacity you invest in these people and in these relationships because that hurt feeling is not nice and unfortunately even though coffee said it not everyone knows how to be grateful and that's okay as long as you are i feel like the overarching theme for this episode is gratitude is a must really acknowledging those moments big or small but where someone has put you as a priority appreciate what they've done and show all the gratitude and i think i'll leave it there can you believe it one more episode to go i actually can't believe how quick we've got through this book and i hope you're learning a lot along the way and if you are remember like share comment follow subscribe drop me a message on the dms and i'll speak to you on the final episode love yours an experimental podcast 